Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, even if the sun wasn't shining, it would be shining when Levi's in the studio. Oh. I must say, I'm a bit disappointed today. You are? Normally, you come in with a radiant shirt yeah. on. I have to say, <laughs> however nice, very plain I'm a little for bit you. Today, today, yes. yeah. I'm a little reserved today, yes. I'm a little reserved because the sun's out. I didn't need to bring the sun today. No. And uh, Ruth, you're absolutely looking wonderful. Thank You've brought you. the sunshine. Oh. The inner sunshine. Glow. Indeed. Yes. Talking Love about it. watermelons. It's amazing what you can do with them. Yeah. Levi here has got 101 uses, haven't you? Yeah. I have. Let's get into these. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Starting with these, with this, this great invention, these lovely lollies for kids. And I think when you're cooking, if you can do something that kids would be able to get involved in, it's just the most beautiful thing. And, and this is just something really easy, isn't it? Is that so it's great? as simple as that. Triangle it's as simple as that. Melon. Triangle of melon. Leave the skin on because it helps to keep the sticking. And I'll just show you how I did it. Mm. Just, just cut them in squares like this. Bit of knife just to create a little bit of hole in the back get your stick and just ram it in there just like that there you go and then in, in the, the freezer. freezer overnight bob's your uncle absolutely oh. fantastic and if you still want more magic <laughs> getting more speciality here we have our watermelon jelly and what i've no, done i have yes. never seen this before i'm oh, intrigued so it, look it looks that. absolutely wonderful and it looks real it, it looks, looks like you've yeah. opened the, the watermelon and you've actually got jelly on the inside but what i've done i've just sort of made some strawberry flavored here along with the watermelon and just really just put it inside. So do you juice the, pulp the watermelon and put it pulp in the water, jelly? Dig out the watermelon, just make sure you, you curve it all out and just make the jelly and just refill it a bit See, like I'm going to do There's a clue in the title with watermelon. Most of it's water. It's 90, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's 95%. It's yes, it's, no. it's over 90% um, in, 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 in water. And, and hardly any calories. A little bit of vitamin C. I think mm -hmm. vitamin C is like, is the octave kind of vitamin that, that, yeah. that's in there. But I think okay. the main thing is that it's great rehydration. Yeah. Rehydration, so absolutely that fantastic. That just goes in the fridge? Just goes in the fridge overnight and comes back looking like that. Another great one for it? the kid. Just just slice it up. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. And look at this. I've got the big I man here. I love jelly. <laughs> mm. And I've got the big man here, which, you know, if you want to pull a pint, oh. <laughs> normally you want to pull a pint of watermelon. <laughs> this is what I've got here, and I'm, I'm going to Where make this here for you. Where the heck did you get that watermelon? Yeah, well, the they come in different sizes, seen. different colours, and yeah, depends on shapes. where you go, different shapes and sizes. Absolutely That's wonderful. Real. Originated in Africa, so it's a very African food. Yeah. Southern Africa is where it was first founded. A lot of people think it's American because they do a lot of it there, but it's actually China, or, or Africa or does Africa. the biggest um, form of watermelon. So you've of, just um, scooped watermelon. all the flesh out Just scoop, scoop it all out and you had your tap in there. You yeah. Yeah. pull your pint in there. And what I've done there, I've just mixed together some stuff. I've got some lovely raspberry, which I've done here. And what I've done, I've put You're some caster sugar on there. Just bring it in there. No fuss. Absolutely, and get your watermelon. So we got it on raspberries, watermelon. Those pips still there, annoying. Me. Still there. Well, yeah, they, they do make a part of the whole visual thing. It just gives a nice little like this coloring and blend it up there. But as we say, here's one I've done a little bit earlier. And do you I can imagine you singing. Got some while pineapple you cook. juice. Yes. Do you like to sing while you cook? And well, we we do. Well, we have a saying in Jamaica that sun is shining, the weather is sweet, makes you want to move your dancing feet. And that's what you do around <laughs> when you are cooking with things like this lovely summer food. So I'm just going to just pour this in. And you can sieve that, of course. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You've got to make out. sure that the tap, it actually comes above the tap yes. on yeah. the inside. So when you pour. So what do we see here? And oh. I've got some oh, soda yeah. water that I'm going to add to it in there. And there you go. Anything you like in that. Anything that <laughs> yes, you can add a bit of rum as well, but I think that's what coming here's, up. Here's how it goes. Later. Let's see. Fingers crossed that it works. There we go. Exactly. Yeah, 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 brilliant. That is really fun. That's great fun for and barbecue, isn't it? There. It's great. And as you say, other flavours you can put in there and just make it your own. Just just okay. give it your own Thanks signature, your own signature taste to it. And <laughs> how's it going? Good. Mm, oh, it's quite sharp. Fantastic. Brilliant. Nice. <laughs> Told you to go easy on the gin. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> the gin's over here, the rum. The Jamaican rum is here, which we're, we're going to dabble, we're gonna so dabble with now. So what's this, a punch? Yeah, this is a, it's a punch. It's, a, it's like a rum punch it's made with watermelon. Or you can use a different kind of watermelon, because they do come in different sizes and different shapes from, from, from all over the world. And what I've done here, I'm going to do a little mix here. What we've got, we've got some ginger. Excuse me. Though. I've put oh, in some. Your hair's knocking Oh, your on hair's knocking on Oh, is it? Microphone. Oh. Let me do it's that. Look. Okay. Sweep your locks back. <laughs> we've got some ginger. We've got some lovely cinnamon sticks, some caster sugar. We've got some pineapple juice and some water. And I've boiled that for about 15 minutes just to extract the lovely flavors, especially from the cinnamon sticks. And then it's concentrated. And from the ginger, like it's concentrated like this in here. And we've got our lovely pineapple fruits here. And all I'm going to do is just 
just to scoop it on there. And once you finish boiling the fruits and it cools off, that is the time when you had the rum. So you would serve this, is. what, as a dessert? Or as, a, as a dessert, yeah. yes, or just a little thing on the side. The thing and is, you can really have... Yeah. And if you've noticed, I've put all the rum in. That's yeah. a lot of rum. <laughs> so you can really have a taste of the sun. Yeah. You can indeed. As, as I said before, this is something that really comes out in the summertime. This is not your side of typical. You wouldn't do this when the weather is not like this fantastic light. And then you just pour that over that? And just pour it over it. Well, let's go for some really? savoury um, stuff. And I notice you've got some cheese go. out. What, what sort okay. of cheese is this? I've got this alumi cheese, which is one of my absolutely favourite recipes, summer recipes, my alumi wrap. And, and then and this is a really fun one for a party. I think that we will always have a party when the weather is on. And this, you wouldn't believe it, I've got some of this in there. Lord Mercy. Are they hot? <laughs> They're hot. Yeah, they are. They bonnet. They are. So we're going to kind of lock them. A Scotch bonnet, which is, again is, is very Caribbean, lovely okay. flavour on the inside. We are going to put this on the website because we're running out of time. Absolutely. But basically, so we've got the alumi, the alumi, alumi and the fire cheese. there, and we've got some wraps here, and it's just really. So show us how you wrap it up yeah. then. Yeah. So you fry the hook. Fry the alumi or... half. I like to fry it on a little bit of foil there. I mean, yeah. people do it in different ways. I've got some red onions, which I'm going to put on there. A little bit of mint here just to make a nice, lovely salsa on there. And then, of course, you, you've got to put the scotch bonnet in there. But then even you're not going to. But I've got to put it in there. Come on, Ruth. I'm going I'm to. This is the summer. This. You've got that lovely dress on. You're so hot. <laughs> and it's just like this. <laughs> the halloumi <laughs> cheese is quite, it's quite meaty. It's quite it is, isn't it? Mm. It is. Isn't it? And just, just oh, really really. no fuss whatsoever. Let's get Leave it on there and do one of the wraps up there. Thank yes. you, my friend, Let's so much for a taste of the, the, taste the sun, of a bite of the sun, a drink of the sun as well. For more of the same, just click here. The thing is, with a cake, what you want is, when you're doing a cake, you stand want back. Yeah, stand back because it could. We'll do it slowly. Is there any way of not making that just well like that? Well, just I guess. Do it slowly. Do it really slowly. Yeah. I've done that with icing before and covered myself in it. We've worn quite a lot of food on here, haven't <laughs> yeah. we? Yeah, we have. But isn't it lovely when you it goes in the air and then you inhale? The yes. Air. Oh, yes. Yeah, that. That's the best bit.